Welcome to Fayette County Public Library Storytime. We have a special guest with us today. This is Miss Lisa, and she's going to read our first story for the day. All right. Our <clears throat> first story is called, What's That Awful Smell? All right. We're going to find out what that awful smell is. In the middle of a hot afternoon, Dog headed to the barn. He knew it would be cooler in there. He knew there was a meaty bone in there. He knew he could have a quiet nap, but he did not know what he was going to find in there. Dog took one step in and stopped. What's that awful smell, he growled. When Duck arrived a few moments later, he found Dog frantically sniffing all around the barn. What's going on? What are you doing? Duck quacked, and then he choked. What's that awful smell? <laughs> I'm trying to find out, said Dog. The sheep bounced into the barn next. They stopped and sniffed. What's that awful smell? They bleated. Dog's looking for it, Dog told them. Soon the cows trudged through the door. They raised their heads and took in a deep breath. <gasps> What's that awful smell, they grumbled. Dog disappeared into the back stall. Aha, he barked. I found it. What do you think he found? Mm -hmm. What was that awful smell? A Any shoe. ID? A shoe. That, would be, that might be right. Let's see. The animals raced to see. It's a pig, they cried. <laughs> the little pig made a little oink. It's just a piglet, the dog corrected. That's even worse. Will it get smellier as it grows? One cow moaned. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. The duck buried his face under his wing. It's kind of cute, said the sheep. The other animals did not agree. I have an idea, the dog barked. Get me some hay. The dogs brought great mouthfuls of hay, and dog covered the piglet from head to toe. But the smell did not go away. The piglet poked its head out from the hay, and it looked at Dog. Oink, it said. What? What did it say? Quacked the duck. Maybe it wants a bath, the sheep guessed. The dog's eyes lit up. Maybe a bath would wash away the smell, he said. Well, there's a puddle outside, said the cow. Pigs love puddles, but this piglet didn't. The animals pushed and pulled, but the piglet wouldn't budge. Finally, Duck jumped in and splashed the piglet instead. Of course, we know ducks like water, right? Oink, oink, the soggy piglet cried. It ran back to the barn, and the smell was still there. The flowers in our meadow smell good, said the sheep. Will they help? Let's try, all of them agreed, and so the sheep bounded off to get some flowers. When they returned, the animals spread the flowers all over the piglet. They even stuck some in his ears. <laughs> but the smell didn't go away. Maybe it could live in the chicken coop, the cow suggested. It already smells bad in there. Great idea, said the duck. Duck nudged the piglet to its feet, and the dog led it out to the chicken coop. But the chickens didn't want the piglet. They cacked when it shook mud on them. They squawked when it curled up in their nest. And when it ate their corn, they chased it right out of the coop. The squealing piglet ran back into the barn, but the smell was still there. I have one more idea, said the dog and he led them to the strawberry bushes that grew behind the barn. Nothing smells sweeter than strawberries, Dog said. Let's put them all over the piglet. And so the animals carried mouthfuls of red juicy berries back to the barn. The animals squished berries onto the piglet's back. They smashed it onto his legs. They rubbed it on its snout. And when they were finished, the piglet was covered in sticky strawberry juice. And so were all the other animals. But guess what? The smell hadn't gone away. 
Now what? cried the sheep. I don't think the smell will ever go away, moaned the cows. Yuck, 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 complained the duck. Oink, said the piglet happily as it slurped the berry juice off of everyone else. Look at him, he's sucking the juice off of their legs. I guess there's nothing left to do, said the dog. We'll just have to stay outside. The cows and the sheep and the duck all followed. They huddled together in a small patch beside the shade until a cat wandered by. Mm. Why are you all out here? She meowed. Well, there's an awful smell in that barn, the dog told her. Oh dear, whimpered the cat. I hope that piglet and you all didn't eat my dinner. Dinner? What dinner? The duck asked. My liver, an onion, and tuna fish sandwich, said the cat. I hid it in the barn a few days ago. She strutted herself inside, and the others all followed her all the way to the back stall. And from under the hay, the cat pulled out a fat, squishy sandwich filled with liver and onions and tuna fish. Ew, that's that smell, said the dog. That was her dinner, mooed the cows. It wasn't the little pig, the sheep bleated. Yuck, 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 said the duck, and he buried his face under his wing. The cat sniffed the sandwich. Mmm, she says, but you know what? It kind of smells rotten. Do any of you want my sandwich? Would you want our sandwich? Mm. The animal snorted and backed away. Oh, suit yourself, said the cat. But I know someone who will eat it. Who's going to eat her sandwich? You think the piglet wants it? Let's see if you're right. The cat pushed the sandwich in front of the piglet, who ate it up in just one gulp. <laughs> Oink, it said happily. And guess what? Now, the smell was gone. <laughs> the end. Did you like that? <clears throat> I guess all along it was the sandwich. It was the sandwich that made the awful smell. Mm -hmm. That's right. I think liver and tuna fish would really stink after two or three days. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. We're going to hear another story. <clears throat> this one's called Charlie at the Zoo. There he is. I think Charlie is very cute. Who is that peeking out from the reeds? It's Charlie, the oldest of five ducklings who lives with his family in a little pond. Every time Charlie sees something he doesn't understand, he just has to find out what it is. What's that? He asks his mother. And if mother doesn't know, Charlie goes off to find out for himself. Charlie's mother has her wings full with four other ducklings and is used to having her oldest swim off for the day. But he must be back home in time for dinner. He's cute. One day Charlie was out exploring as usual when he heard a strange sound coming from the reeds. What was that? Were there other ducks around here? Charlie went out to find out. It wasn't a duck but an odd green animal. It sat on a leaf, blew up both cheeks, and said, croak. It looked funny and sounded funny too. Charlie opened his beak to ask, what are you? But before he could speak, whatever it was took a huge leap and plunged into the water. What a shame. Now two long, thin legs waded into view. They belonged to a giant bird that stalked through the reeds and poked his pointed beak again and again into the water. He poked right where the funny green animal had disappeared. Charlie hid behind some reeds and did not make a peep. I see the grass up, up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's sort of camouflaged in behind there, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Charlie was starting to feel a little bit comfortable about the reeds. 
who knew what else was in the water. So he climbed up on the shore and looked around for his family. He couldn't see them. He'd have to go across the meadow to find them, but first he wanted to take a little nap, so he lay down in the grass. Charlie was almost asleep when a giant shadow fell across him and something moist and rough grazed his face. There is that moist and rough thing. Wonder what that is. What do you think? I don't know, I was gonna say flowers, but since it's moist and rough, that's not what flowers feel like. No, they're soft. they're soft. Well, let's look and see what it is. Oh, oh cried my. Charlie, what's that? Moo, said the brown monster with the giant tongue shaking her head. Yuck, she said. First I nearly ate that zoo hat and now I licked a duck. <laughs> Charlie shook his head. What's a zoo hat? It's a hat from the zoo. What's a zoo? A zoo is a place where animals from all over the world live. You can see them and learn all about them. And where is this zoo? Charlie wanted to know. Right there across my pasture. Oh, I see ladybugs. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This I have to see, Charlie cried. He popped the zoo hat on his head, waved to the brown animal with the big tongue, and waddled off. Soon he marched under the turnstile and into the zoo. Charlie looked around. Where could he go first? Right there in the first enclosure was an unbelievably big, truly colossal animal. He was just walking into the water as Charlie arrived. Soon he was almost completely submerged. Suddenly, he opened up his great big mouth, showing a pair of huge teeth. Do you know what this animal is? It is soft, brown, and has two cute little ears. What could it be? Charlie is showing us how it opens its mouth. So what is this animal? So my sharp teeth is really soft with little ears. That's a tough one. And you're going to be surprised when you see that it is <gasps> a hippopotamus. How is that soft? <laughs> it says it is. <laughs> Hippopotamus. My are vegetarians, which means they only eat plants like grass. They spend most of the day in the water and come back onto land in the evenings. Their name, hippopotamus, means river horse in the Greek. And that is where they are most comfortable, in the river. They look particularly impressive when they yawn with their huge mouth gaping wide open. Well, why do they eat plants if they have that huge mouth to swallow? Look, they have that huge mouth like Swallow Charlie. Well, they just have those teeth. Yeah, but they can like swallow you whole, it looks like. Well, that, yeah, you bring up a good point. Yeah. Unfortunately, hippos are still being hunted, particularly for their beautifully curved canine teeth or tusk, which are made of precious ivory. In parts of Africa, they are already extinct. Today, hippos are only found south of the Sahara Desert. Hippos in the wild live to be about 40 years old. In zoos, they can live up to 50. He does have a huge mouth. Next door to the hippos, Charlie saw some really funny looking animals. They had orange brown fur and arms that were longer than their legs. They swung around on vines and branches. They were real acrobats. Charlie wished he could do that too. Do you? They have long, their, their hands are so long when they're down on the ground. They're so long, they have to hold their hands up. 
Well, their name means forest person. <laughs> so you think it's a spider monkey? Yeah. Well, actually, okay. they it. are orangutans. Oh. <laughs> orangutans live in the rainforests of Borneo and northern Sumatra. Unlike chimpanzees and gorillas, orangutans like to be alone. These apes chiefly live in trees. They sleep high up in the branches, and every evening they build themselves a nest from branches and leaves. They love to eat fruit, but they also eat nuts, plants, bark, ants, and termites. Doesn't that sound delicious? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, if they eat berries, like that. Yeah. In the zoo, they can live for 50 years. Orangutans are often hunted, and they are also threatened because the trees in the rainforest where they live are being cut down to be used as lumber or to make room for crops. I saw that on TV. There was a baby orangutan, and he got hurt because his his part was his branch was on fire, and he fell. Oh. <laughs> and they caught him. People found him and caught him and they brought him back to a zoo. Mm. Was so he, he was kept safe then. Next, Charlie stood for a long time in front of a big glass case, wondering what was inside. Finally, he noticed a green lizard. It crouched on a branch among the green leaves and was nearly invisible. When it moved, it crept very, very slowly. It looked like a tiny little dragon. Do you know what this animal is? <laughs> lizard! Yeah, lizard! Yeah. What yeah. kind of lizard? Hmm, an invisible lizard. <laughs> its name, its name in the Greek means earth lion. Wait, 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 don't turn the page. I know, I know what this is. Chameleon. Ah! Oh. Chameleon. You are right. There totally he is. One. I totally have one of those. Totally have one of those. It looks good. It looks like Oscar. Yeah. It totally looks like Oscar. Half of all known chameleons live on Madaga Mas Madagascar, which is an African island. They also live in other areas of Africa, Asia, and southern Spain. The chameleon is a tree animal. It uses its long tail to balance and climb. It can grab onto branches using its tail as a fifth leg. Chameleon's eyes can move independently, so they look both forward and backward, or to the right and left at the same time. As soon as a chameleon spots an insect, it flicks out its tongue to snap it up. The tip of the chameleon's tongue is like a suction cup, and its tongue is often longer than its body. Chameleons can change their skin color to match their surroundings. I bet you already knew that, didn't you? Yeah, the temperature, kind of fine, they can it. also change the temperature or their mood. Mm -hmm. If a chameleon is annoyed, for example, it will turn very dark. Mm. I think if I was around a chameleon and he turned very dark, I would be getting out of there. What about you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, Oscar was hard to find because he always climbed on his branch and then just turned brown and I was like, where is he? My mom always found his eyes and they always moved and she knew it was him. And then as soon as she said, there's Oscar, I saw his brown tail. <laughs> Charlie heard loud barking sounds coming from the other side of a big cliff. It was feeding time and a zookeeper was there with the animals, getting them to perform tricks. Every time they did a trick, he rewarded them with a fish. You might have seen these trained animals before. Do you know what they are? Dolphin. Dolphins or something else. They couldn't be rhinoceroses because a zookeeper wouldn't be in there with rhinoceroses. <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe like like they fed the bears. I got to watch them feed the bears. They were up in this cave and they threw fish down to the bears. Okay, well let's see what this trained animal is. Seals. Seals. They are sea lions. Sea lions eat squiggly squid and lots of fish. They live up to 20 years. The funny thing is, they don't just perform tricks in zoos. Even in the wild, they like to play around. 
Zookeepers just work with them to develop their natural talents. Most of the sea lions that we see in zoos are California sea lions. Their bodies and heads are sleeker and narrower than other types of sea lions, which makes them look very graceful. Sea lions move quite well on the land and have an outstanding sense of balance, which makes me understand why they could put that on their nose and balance it. So they already have great skills, but the zookeepers upgrade their skills by teaching them more skills. So by like, teaching um, them tricks, yes. So like makes, because they're right now one stars, and then they upgrade them to two stars. Yeah, that's a good Three example. And four and five. It was getting late. It was almost time to go home. Charlie's mother would be worrying about him. But there was one more thing Charlie just had to see. At the zoo entrance, he'd seen a sign that showed where the baby animals were. There they were, two small balls of fur trying to follow their mother, who lay high up in a tree, lazily swinging on her, her long, lazily swinging her long legs. Do you know what these animals Jag with spotted fur? A jaguar or a cheetah? Jaguar or cheetah. Oh. Um, monkeys on spots. Yeah. Leopards. Oh, oh. leopards. Leopards. Like Leopards have irregular spots, which are called rosettes. The rosettes are like flowers, where the petals are black and the center is tawny colored. Leopard means lion panther, because people once thought they were a mix of the two animals. Okay. Leopards are loners. They like to find a spot high in a tree where they can easily see out into the distance. They hunt at night and bring their catch back to the tree where they can eat it without being disturbed. Leopards are found in parts of Africa, much of Asia, and into the far eastern reaches of Russia. In the wild, they can live as long as 15 years. In zoos, they can live up to 25 years. So 15 in the wild, 25 in the zoo. Do you have any idea why that would be like that? Years. Every one of these animals could live longer in a zoo. Why do you think that might be? Because the zoo keepers give them food like as soon as they can get there. They have to like sniff around, look at something. Do you know what a predator is? Something that tries to eat stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, so in the zoo, they would be protected from those other animals that might try to eat them. Yeah, yeah, like those. Mm -hmm. So that but that would lions, help them live longer. The, those lions. Those would eat people. Mm -hmm. Those would eat people. Mm, they might bite you or something. No, they actually would eat people. <laughs> <laughs> when Charlie got home, he just had to tell everyone about what he had seen. He told them about the giant with the curved tongue, the swinging armed acrobatic baby, the little dragon that didn't move, the fish eater who swam and did tricks, and the spotted animal who balanced on the branch of a tree. Weren't you afraid? asked the ducklings, amazed. Afraid? No, Charlie said, shaking his head. Well, there was one animal that did scare me, but it wasn't in the zoo. It lives right out there by our pond in the wild. It has brown fur and a huge, rough, wet tongue. I thought it was going to eat me. Do you know which animal Charlie meant? Oh, the cow. The cow. <laughs> Why would... Oh, oh, I totally have a cow joke. I totally have one. Yeah. Well, how about we go to our flannel board? Yeah. Miss Lisa's going to help us with that today. All right, so you've heard two stories. One, where did the first one take place? In the... Pond. The first one that I read to you? Farm. It was on the farm, right? So we're going to put the word farm up here. That's F, A, R. R. Oh, it's crooked. There we go. So we're going to find some farm animals today. Now, where does Miss Kim's story take place? Where did the little duck go? Where did Charlie go? <laughs> Charlie went to the zoo. I think we'll stick uh, zoo over uh, here. Z-O-O -O spells zoo and farm. So I've got some animals 
And I'm going to give you guys each some. And you're going to come and put it over here if it's a farm animal. And put it down over here by the word zoo if it's a zoo animal. Okay? Who wants to go first? All right. Take this animal. Take a look at it. What'd you get? What is that? A, a zoo animal. It is a zoo animal. Can you tell me its name? I don't know. Do you know what its name is? Tiger. It's a tiger. tiger. You wouldn't want that on your farm, would you? No. No, it belongs in the zoo. All right, here's Lord, one for you. you up. What'd you get? It's a piglet. Oh, it's a piglet, just like the one in our story. Yeah. So he's in the farm. All right, let's see what you get. What do you think? What is it? What is that? A penguin. Well, I'm mixing them up. I'm hoping I get you different ones. Here, you try that one. What's that one? Chicken. A chicken. All right. Put that on the farm. Why don't you go ahead and do your next animal? Just stick him right up there. You keep making me have these. Okay. And I have One no more for you. There's a zoo what animal for you. I don't know. Is that a know. chimpanzee? Chimpanzee. All right, what do we get over here? Oh, look at all those farm animals. I'm putting them sideways. And what was this one? Sheep. Sheep and cows. One more. What do we think that one's going to be? <laughs> Did you get another zoo animal? Yeah, you always give me only zoo Well, animals. I mixed them up. <laughs> she gave you the cow. All right, so on the farm we have pigs and sheep and cows and chickens, chickens or roosters, right? And on the zoo we have tigers and penguins, penguins and elephants, elephants and monkeys. Mm. That's right. Mm -hmm. We sorted some things today. We sorted farm animals and zoo animals. And you could do these same, th same things at home. Uh, you could do it with different colored beads, etc. So anyway, just have fun sorting at home. Goodbye. We'll see you next time. <laughs>